Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today's episode is about using buildups, even if they're unplanned, to help refine and add certainty to your reservoir characterization or complementing the work you're doing with RTA. Now this example is for tight gas, but at the end I'm gonna include a link to a separate, more thorough webinar that is for unconventional multi-frac wells. And it's gonna actually combine DFIT, or mini-frac analysis, with production data, RTA, and a buildup. So check out the link in the description if you're focused on unconventional wells and how you can combine RTA and PTA. But today's episode is for a tight gas well and this well started by simply looking at it among its neighbors and the well we're looking at here is an underperformer and, and part of the reason to use RTA is to figure out why. Does it have to do with liquid loading? Does it have to do with the fracture half length being very short? Is it the drawdown, etc.? So we're going to use RTA to help determine the answer. So this is our tight gas well. We have we have about seven years of production history, and this well actually had some downtime where there was a plant that was shut in, and so there was a buildup period here. And even though we were using surface pressure gauges, we're able to convert those pressures down to bottom hole conditions here. So yes, it's great if you have measured bottom hole pressures, but there are cases where you can also use a surface gauge like we have here. So let's start our analysis. We'll start by doing our flowing material balance. Now the data is a little bit noisy here so something I can do to help add some certainty is by doing a history match in this case on the gas rate. Okay so we can see depending how I make my interpretation here it, the gas rate model match can help me refine it. So I think I'm going to end up with about right here. So this is going to be about 97 acres of drainage area or about 4.8 BCF. That's it for FMB. Next I'm going to try to look at a type curve. I'll use a blasting game type curve. Okay so I can see when I'm moving my data around this looks like maybe a reasonable match but the data is quite scattered and I'm going to have a really hard time getting much confidence in which of these transient type curves I should use and that means that the resulting permeability and XF I get also has a lot of uncertainty. Okay now it is nice to see that my area is pretty similar to what I got with my FMB so that's good but the transient properties permeability and damage I have some uncertainty about so this is where we can take advantage of that buildup that happened right here. So all we're going to do is go export to well test. Well test is our powerful pressure transient analysis software for doing defits, test design, build up, drawdown analysis, and even deconvolution. So we're going to export and this is going to maintain all the fluid properties, the wellbore diagram, etc. So Opening our well test software, we're going to go ahead and find that export that we got from Harmony. So here we are in well test. We see the production history, the buildup, and then the later production history. We're going to go ahead and do some diagnostics here. Now I need to pick my flow period as the buildup. We'll expand that derivative here. I'm going to start by doing a radial diagnostic and we see we are not quite in radial flow yet, but I'm going to put this here just as a way to estimate my maximum permeability. Now I'm going to do a linear fracture or half slope diagnostic check on the buildup. Okay, so if I input my assumed permeability that I got here from my radial analysis, we get a fracture half length of about 104 feet. Now this value is quite a bit lower than all of the other wells 
in the area that we've done RTA on. So this is starting to explain maybe why this well is underperforming. So if we go back into our blasting game type curve, now we can pick a type curve that's closer, in this case 115 feet, closer to what we got from our buildup. So we've just been able to add some certainty to our type curve selection and explain why this well is an underperformer. Now if we want to predict the impact of going back and maybe refracking this well and increasing the fracture half length, it's really easy. We're going to go to our forecast with right within the blasting game type curve itself. So I'm going to gradually ramp this flowing pressure down over the 30 year forecast for this well. And this red line is the forecast if we don't do anything. But something we can do is we can say what if we increase the fracture from 115 feet to 300 feet. Okay, we see how the rate is expected to increase or up to 400 feet or all the way up to 500 feet. Okay, we can see how the well is going to respond and then we can simply go to our economics and see what that means for a net present value or cash flow forecast considering the investment of refrac in this particular tight gas well. So I really just wanted to highlight how when we have some noisy data and we have a difficult time figuring out which of these transient type curves to pick, if there's a buildup in the well's history, even if it's unplanned, we're able to go export, get everything out to well test, focus on the buildup, and do some diagnostics to help refine and add certainty to those transient properties. And that's it. So what does this really mean for you? Well, the first thing is I just want to remind you to take advantage of your buildups, even if they're not planned, even if they're using surface gauges, there's still some value available there. And really all of RTA is based on pressure transient analysis fundamentals. So we're really using them to complement each other. The next thing this means is everyone wants more certainty characterizing the reservoir and making a reliable forecast and combining the buildups with production period is a great way to do that. Now, make sure to check out the link in the description if you're focused on unconventional wells to see how we can combine a defit, RTA, and a buildup to better characterize our unconventional horizontal multifrac well. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, just give me a call or email and subscribe to be notified of next week's episode.